ashver.com. Hello, you are watching an interested video on panic attack, how to stop and overcome repetitive incidents. Please read the disclaimer carefully. This is your brain on adrenaline. Everyone has heard about the tiny woman that lifted a car off of her loved one, or the man that ran in front of a speeding car to save a child from certain harm, that is the awesome power of adrenaline. In evolution, adrenaline was provided by your body to run away quickly from a dangerous dangerous situation. When the brain thinks anxiety, the body responds with danger, and your adrenal glands pump you up with adrenaline. The more panicked you become, the more adrenaline is released into the body, and the disturbing feelings of impending doom become more severe. The job of adrenaline is to provide you with a way to escape danger, even if you don't know what that danger may be. Follow these steps to help stop your panic at I hear a buzzing sound in my ears. When you're hearing that distracting buzzing sound in the ears, your brain is reacting to increased adrenaline to the brain and it is the result of beta brainwave activity. It may be disorienting and confusing as the brain is on overdrive and the thought process is overwhelmed by the speed effect. Your body is experiencing a natural response to adrenaline and not a physical or mental disease. Distract yourself with external sounds. Put on soothing music not too loud, and try earphones. Have a conversation with yourself or someone you trust. Distract yourself with a favorite movie or video. I'm feeling pins and needles in my arms and hands. Normally, you breathe in oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide. When your breathing is faster, you are exhaling more carbon dioxide and it makes you dizzy and induces the pins and needles sensations in your arms, hands, lips, or facial areas. It is not going to hurt you. Take slow, deep breaths into a, into a paper bag or cupped hands to restore your carbon dioxide levels and these strange sensations will cease and you will feel better within minutes. My heart is pounding in my chest. Adrenaline is speeding up your nervous system and heart rate to provide you with the extreme energy to run. In modern society, people rarely run from anxiety producing situations. You can't run away from your angry boss or the fear of your checking account being overdrawn, overdrawn. Stress in modern times does not always benefit from the flight or fight response of adrenaline, and you may interpret the natural disturbances as impending doom. The pounding heart in your chest is no different than playing tennis or running a race. Your heart is designed to accommodate the oxygen supply your body demands with ease, and the adrenaline is making your heart beat faster so you can escape an undesirable situation. Place both hands in a sink full of water as hot as you can stand it, not too hot. Or, place ice cubes on your forehead, or the back of your neck or face. This will distract your nervous system and stop the flow of Can I die from a panic attack? People who experience a panic attack often identify the symptoms as a heart attack. In reality, the signs and symptoms are actually completely different and not related. Heart palpitations are not symptoms of a heart attack. The vague feelings and tightness in your chest chest are due to the increased supply of adrenaline speed and not a malady. Your healthy heart is equipped to beat fast and pound as if you were jogging for exercise, were surprised with a birthday party or you were just notified that you won the lottery. Sit down and place your head between your knees and breathe slowly. This will slow the heart rate and relax the chest muscle. I can't breathe normally. Normally, people don't feel themselves breathing. It is a highly evolved action designed by the body to require as little energy as possible. During a panic attack, adrenaline expands your lungs so you can take in more oxygen to run away from danger. You perceive the expanded chest chest as the sensation of difficulty breathing. If you can hold a conversation or speak, you are breathing just fine. Sit down and rock yourself gently back and forth and inhale and exhale slowly with each movement. This will help you feel your breathing. 
Breathe in through the nose and out through a straw. You will feel the movement of air and sense your breathing is not. I want to run away from my body. In response to adrenaline, your mind is telling your body to run away from danger. The panic response is confusing, and you may feel that your own body is the danger you must run from. Try to be as calm as possible so the adrenaline stops getting the signal of danger. Hold, hold on, your anxiety will be over quickly. Use pressure points to distract the central nervous system. Push your thumb on one hand into the space between your thumb and index finger on the other hard enough to cause discomfort. Pinch the bridge of the nose with the thumb and index finger to cause I am trembling and shaking. The surge of adrenaline is giving you a rush and causing you to shake. It is perfectly normal and your body is responding to the chemical. The more fear you experience, the more adrenaline is released into the bloodstream and the more trembling you will have. Your body is reacting in a natural way to fear and it is not going to hurt you. Fortunately, the trembling of the body is usually a sign that the adrenaline effects are almost over. How to stop future panic attacks? Why do I have anxiety? Unfortunately, anxiety is a necessary evil. Too little anxiety creates a person that isn't motivated enough to take precautions to survive. They generally don't feel the pressure to find a job, take care of their future, find a job, take care of their future, or expend energy to learn new ideas and opportunities. On the other hand, too much anxiety can prevent people from learning anything or experiencing new opportunities for growth and success. High anxiety is debilitating and crippling to people that develop phobias and social anxieties that prevent them from enjoying their lives. Most people are somewhere in the middle. Moderate anxiety helps people safely decipher the risks of their desires and the rewards of doing the right thing. A certain amount of anxiety is necessary to stay alert and to push past fear and find the courage to overcome adversity and pursue our dreams. Have a complete medical exam. Have a checkup from your healthcare provider and discuss the anxiety you're experiencing. This is mostly for your peace of mind. If you are medically cleared by your doctor, you will have less worry about your physical health and be able to understand the effects of anxiety or panic and be less likely to misinterpret the sensations as illness on your body. Avoid stimulants and eat regularly. If you are prone to panic attacks, you need to take care of your body and achieve a healthy lifestyle that will keep your body calm and relaxed. Avoiding certain foods as will reduce the chances of stimulation causing an anxiety attack. Avoid, ca avoid caffeine in coffee and cola products. Don't drink alcohol due to the initial stimulant effects. Stop smoking, nicotine is a powerful stimulant. Eat a protein food every 4 hours and avoid a drop in blood sugar. Reduce anxiety with physical activities. Exercise daily, power walking is excellent for the total body. Meditate daily and find a higher power that makes you feel safe. Get massages that relax the body and create natural feel-good chemicals. Seek a therapist that understands anxiety. If you truly t is overwhelming your life, find a therapist that works extensively in anxiety disorders. It is important they are someone you can trust, and they can help you how to cope with the anxiety in a positive way. Panic attacks are a problem of perception, not a medical condition. As an intensive care and care nurse, and then a clinical educator in mental health, I have learned that anxiety is the ultimate connection between mind and body. Panic and anxiety attacks truly fall between the two disciplines, somewhere between psychological and physical causes, the normal sensations experienced by the body are misinterpreted by the brain as harmful. Sufferers experiencing panic attacks may believe that they are going to die, call 911, or seek out medication to reduce the awful experience of a panic attack. Anxieties, or panic attacks, are a problem of perception. Thank you for watching this video. This channel offers motivational, inspirational, valuable and informative videos to soothe, cleanse and inspire your health, mind, body and spirit. You can find lot of interesting videos on wide range of topics here, 
Stay tuned and keep watching.